how you guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a cheesy spaghetti squash bake so right here I got a spaghetti squash I think this is about a pound and a half to two pounds I got four of them so I wasn't able to accurately measure one out but this is about a pound and a half to two so to get started we're gonna um, cut this bad boy open to get the seeds up out of it so do that carefully put your knife in and try to split it in half these things are pretty hard so it's easy to injure yourself by cutting it so just do it carefully I'm pulling out slowly so I don't cut myself about as even as I can get it but that's the inside of it I'm gonna grab a spoon okay. now I've grabbed a little paper plate to put the seeds in once I'm done scooping them out and of course you can um, save the seeds and grow them yourself or you can bake them kind of like pumpkin seeds or you can just throw on the side of your compost pile or the garbage can <laughs> but I went with this option because it's low carb for when you want to have some spaghetti but you don't want to eat all those carbs from the pasta so I'll go with this and it tastes fantastic so I like doing it this way okay that's them all cleaned out I'm going to go ahead and cut up my other ones and we're going to put this in a pan with a little water and bake these bad boys. So let me go ahead and get the other ones prepped. Alright you guys, I'm back and I got all of them cut up. It's total two, four, six, eight. And I got them face down in the pan and I'm just going to add a little water. So to help them steam, this probably about Probably about a cup and a half of water. So while it's baking that it'll steam. That was the oven you heard, it's preheated. By the way, <laughs> I got it preheated at 350. And this is probably gonna take about 40 to 45 minutes, but I'ma check it at the 30 minute mark. And how you know that it's done is if you put a knife through the skin and the flesh and it goes through easily, then you good. And that way you could peel the, well not peel, but pull all the noodles out of it. Well noodles <laughs> you can pull all of it out of there but yeah since I got so many I'm pretty sure it's gonna take 40 to 45 minutes but I'm gonna check it at 30 minute mark and I'll see you guys there all right guys my squash are now done I had to leave them in there for the full 45 minutes because at the 30 they were not quite tender yet so what I'm gonna do now is turn off the heat and I'm gonna leave them sitting in the oven while they cool down Cool enough for me to handle while I get the rest of the ingredients ready for the sauce and the meat. All right, I got my veggies sauteing in my pan here. I got a little package of mushrooms, just some plain white mushrooms. Use whatever kind you like, or don't use them at all if you don't like them. Then I got one yellow onion I chopped up. I have to let it soften a bit before I can break it, and one red bell pepper. So we're gonna let these go and saute up and once they are done sauteing, I will season them. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Probably about, maybe around 10 minutes. Could be a little less, so I'll just let you guys know. Alrighty. Oh, and I got a little butter and olive oil in here, in case you were wondering. <laughs> All right. All right, you guys, my veggies are now fully sauteed. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn them off. Now we're going to move on to our meat. I got a pound of meatless browns here. Here's the bag. Meatless crumbles made with soy. That's one pound that's already in there and I'm going to add another pound to it. But first I'm going to pour my vegetables on top of that. Okay. 
Hell yeah. All that delicious butter and stuff. And let's go ahead and add our other browns to it. Okay. And let me grab my seasonings. All right. I got a packet of Sasson. Add that whole thing in there. Cause that's what I like. If you don't like this, then feel free not to add it. Add whatever you like, actually. Whatever you want to put in your spaghetti, you add it. I got some Italian seasoning. Sprinkle some of that in. Do that liberally because it's Italian, of course. I got a little basil left inside of here, so go ahead and add that. Some Tony Sachere's Creole seasoning. Come on, focus. You all seen that before? That's going to be our salt element. If you need more, we'll add some more. Then some pepper. And I like to crack it in there fresh. Give it a stir. And remember, this is not meat, so it doesn't take long for it to cook. You really just have to warm it up, to be honest with you. And that's pretty much it. Stir it up. And once this gets done, we're going to add our sauce to it. Alright, you guys. Add it on for a couple minutes, and it's nice and cooked through. I'm going to add some tomato uh, pasta sauce. Add whatever kind you like. I used to go with this Kroger brand. I like the flavor of it. And of course you have to doctor it up as with any sauce you get. And that was one jar, oh, and it was the 24 ounce jar, which is one pound, eight ounces. And I got three of them. This one is the six cheese. And the Parmesan Romano sauce. Total, I have three jars. And of course, I add some water to the jars and get the rest of that sauce out. I'll do that off camera. And you're gonna let this come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, that's when I like to taste for seasoning. And I add a little sugar to balance out the tart tomato. You know how to dress up your pasta sauce. You seen me do it before. You know how to do it yourself. Everybody know I made spaghetti. <laughs> So get it tasting the way you like it. And that is it. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the sauce out of these jars. And we'll move on to the next step. Sorry you guys, I forgot a very important ingredient that I went ahead and added to this. Garlic powder. Make sure you add garlic powder to it. <laughs> I'm sorry I forgot. But I went ahead and added some sugar to the mix. Probably about half a cup's worth to sweeten it up. And I think I added some more pepper. And I added some water from the jars. I added some water to the jars, I'm sorry. And I shook it up and got the rest of the sauce out. And this is what we came up with. Nice and saucy. So let's go ahead and get these noodles and put them together. All right, y'all, I'm back. And I got my big pan here that I sprayed with some extra virgin olive oil spray. And here's one of the squashes. It's still steaming after all this time it's sat in the oven. And what you do, you take a fork and just, ooh, it's hot. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> it means hot as fuck. <laughs> you just take a fork and you just pull the strands out. And this is what it's look like. I don't look like spaghetti noodles, pretty much. Look just like it. That's all it takes. You just get all the strands out. There you go. I'm trying to handle it best I can. Burning my hands so I can give you guys a good video. <laughs> and after you're done, you just discard it. Or you can um, get fancy with it and save the shell and fill it up with your product. Maybe top it with a little cheese. You're good to go. But that's pretty much it, you guys. Just get the noodles out. Here go the noodles again, in case you couldn't see it too good. 
And you ain't gotta worry about eating all those carbs like you would with pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these. All right, you guys, I got my noodles all done. And I'm about to sprinkle on a little Parmesan. As soon as I can get it open. There we go. Sprinkle however much you like. I'll probably do like a cup's worth. A little over half a jar. Okay. And then let's add our sauce that we made earlier. Just pour all that on top. Try not to splatter, which is exactly what I was just doing. Delicious meaty sauce, which is not exactly meat, <laughs> but it looks like it and tastes like it without all the cholesterol or fat. handle but it's okay. Okay, get that a little mixy mix. Try and mix it as best you can. I probably should use some tongs. looking pretty good. Spread down the sides. Okay, that's looking good to me. Okay. And now we're gonna add some cheese to it. I got some triple cheddar, the pre-shredded kind. And this is an eight ounce bag, which is two cups. Just put that on top. And if you want to keep this recipe vegan, use some vegan cheese. But I use this because this is what I had on hand. So that's exactly what I'm gonna go with. And the rest of that parm, Sprinkle that on, kind of why waste it. And then I got some some mild cheddar cheese. I'm gonna throw in if I can get it open. That's a pre shredded cheddar, just some regular mild cheddar. You whatever kind you got. using all that I had left in this bag. You just have as much cheese you would like. Okay, I got my oven set at 350. And we're gonna bake this until it's nice and melty and bubbly, which shouldn't take too long. Check it after 10 minutes and see what you got going on. All right. All right, you guys. I had it in the oven for 10 minutes and this is how it came out. Looks pretty good to me. So now let's top it with some fresh parsley. I just chopped. Just want to look nice with a pop of green. A little more. Perfect. 
Alright, you guys. Now I'm about to cut a piece and put it on the plate. Let's do this. Move this out of the way. Okay, you guys, and that's the finished product. And low carb, delicious, all that good stuff. Looks just like spaghetti, don't it? <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. A little more parsley. And please tune in for my next video. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps me out. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.